This was a requested video from our friend Prissy and Pink. We will link her channel in the down yes. bar below. Um, she wanted to see <laughs> our blush collection, so we figured we'd bring you blush and bronzer. Yes. Which Jamie, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, puts me to shame. Well, I went through this thing like a year ago where I was like blush obsessed, and I think I still am yeah. in that stage, mm -hmm. but. Well, yeah, I think I have a lot. Jamie buys Mac, and so a lot of her products are Mac. Yeah, and I haven't really gotten on the, into the the Mac thing, but I don't um, even know who she is anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's good that she hasn't though. I know. To be quite honest with you, I'm I'm trying to hold, I guess, hold it down <laughs> in other areas. Um, I only have a small amount, so I'm gonna let her start. Yes. And finish. Okay. And go lots of times in between. Yeah, I'm going to start with MAC because some of them you guys have probably seen and you're like, shut up about these products. But, hey, they're my blushes and I wear them so yeah. I need to show them. She definitely um, goes through them all. So I'm going to make it quick and we're not going to swatch these. I hope you guys don't mind because we have so many. So if there are any that you have a question about, you can feel mm -hmm. free to ask us below in the comments or send us an email. Um, but this MAC blush is called Prism and it's a matte and it's like a rosy mauve shade. I cannot even tell you how old this is because this is my very, very first MAC blush. It's probably my very first um, nice blush ever. And I used it all the time and then I put it away and forgot about it because so many other pretty things came out. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, this is a new one that just came out with mm -hmm. the Tropical Taboo collection. It's the Mineralized Blush and Simmer. It's that cranberry and gold color. They still have them out right now. Hopefully you guys can find them at your counters. Um, they're really pigmented. I will swatch this one because they're really pigmented. Um, yeah. You don't need a lot. This is the type hand. of blush that's going to last you forever because if you have mm -hmm. dark skin, don't you should just get one. Yeah. And if you have lighter skin, just go really easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is one called Alpha Girl, and it's actually, it's called a beauty powder. I don't know the difference of what a beauty powder is in a blush, but it is a, it looks peach, straight up peach matte, and it comes off on me a little peachy pink, and I love to wear this in the winter mm -hmm. when my skin is a little more pale. I don't know why, I think it's really pretty with paler skin. <laughs> um, this is a mineralized skin finish in blonde, and there are multiple shades of pink. I love that. Um, you can use this side for highlighter and this side for blush. I'm glad I'm doing this video because I haven't used this very much, mm -hmm. and maybe it'll be in a rediscovers because I feel like I need to start using it. Yeah, kind they, of reminded of what you have. Yeah, they came out with one too back in the day called Redhead, and when that ever comes out, we're probably going to get it, and maybe she'll have to get that one I am going to definitely is a get it. That because that was one or two years ago that they did that that collection. I can't remember, but they've come out with it a couple times, I think. Okay. This is one mineralized skin finish in Star Wonder. It's got your gold, like a burgundy color, a peachy pink, and it's gorgeous. And you can use the outside for a highlighter, but the inside is gorgeous for a blush. Probably, I don't know if you can find that anymore. Sorry. Some of these you can. That's how it goes sometimes. Like this one in mineralized skin finish in Semi Precious Pearl gorgeous highlighter on the outside but a really nice darker tone blush in the center that I go to more in the fall and winter but I love it but the highlighter I use during the year <laughs> she's beautiful Jamie loves highlighters oh my gosh I love a little bit of everything <laughs> it's a real problem um semi-precious rose quartz mineralized skin finish one of the most gorgeous blushes that I have in my collection and when this goes away which it probably won't for a very long time I will be <laughs> sad sad and depressed Told her I was pretty sure she didn't need to buy a blush. Then she had the nerve to tell me that I'm never gonna run out of blush, and I'm like, it could happen. <laughs> um, this is one amber glow mineralized blush. Really pretty. Gorgeous. I got this after watching Lorraine from the current custom. She had it and I loved it. And mm -hmm. it's a nice peach with a mild shimmer and it's gorgeous. And I actually will wear this alone, but I like this topped over other blushes. Cool, oh, look at me. Layering. Layering things. <laughs> and this is Warm Soul Mineralized Blush that I got after seeing this on Laura, Miss Lola Lynn, and Shades of Cassie. And I am so happy to have this because it is a more neutral, like, what would you call that? It's just more neutral. It's yeah, like a peachy nude. But it's got a but the really shimmer is shimmer gorgeous. To it. Yeah, you can't really see it right there, but... Yeah. She's pretty. Gorgeous. And that's all my Mac. 
Okay, well, do you want me to jump in? Yes. <laughs> <Pick one. laughs> All right. Um, I don't know where to begin. I've got 10 I, I have one. so many. No. Um, yeah. No. Um, okay, this is one of my favorite blushes. This is my Dior um, Shimmer Powder in Rose Diamond, which is definitely much loved. Again, like with the illuminator on this side and more of the blush tones on this side. I love this gorgeous palette. It's my only Dior blush palette. Um, I would really like to have, there's the one called, I think it's called Amber Diamond. Mm, mm -hmm. I think I, I think that's what it's called. I would love to have that palette as well. Dior is like a splurge thing though, so I just treat myself to that just every once every in a once while. Every once in a while, but yeah. that's a pretty one. And mm -hmm. it's gotten a lot of love. Oh yeah. Um, Dior, this is Rosy Glow. This was gifted mm -hmm. by a friend in the makeup industry. And it looks scary ridiculous in the pan because it is... I mean, hot it's, pink. Yeah. It's hot, hot pink. And I had it for a while, and I didn't use it. I didn't try it. And it's one of the colors that's gotten a lot of love on YouTube because how it goes on your skin, it kind of changes a little bit. And you can make it dark and light, and it'll look different on Mindy than it will on me. Mm -hmm. We should do this one day and see what it looks like. Do, like, a comparison? Yes. Okay. Because her skin's different from mine, <laughs> so the pink would be different. Um, but this is my only Dior product, and... I need to use it more. Yeah. Even though I didn't pay for it, I should still use it more. Definitely. Um, let's see. I have one Clinique. Or not Clinique. Clarins. Um, I saw your Clinique. <laughs> Jamie has a Clinique coming up. That's, I have one Clarins blush. This is the um, Blush Prodige in O2, which is soft peach. It's called an illuminating cheek color. Gorgeous. And I love this one. Also get a ton of use out of this. Um, kind of like four little quad quadrants there of different shades of peach, but I just blend them all together and I love it. I mean, it, it doesn't look like I have wor I've worn it a lot. You can kind of tell that the Clarins that is it's stamped pretty. in there is a little worn off, but I love this palette and so pretty. I'm obsessed with anything Clarins. I love the packaging. It's gold and shiny and mirror mirrory. So yeah, that's my only, um, Clinique. What about... Clarence. I'm just going to segue into her Clinique now. Clinique. <laughs> um, this is Shimmering Tones Powder in Black Honey. Um, it's gorgeous. It is a mix of like raisin mm -hmm. and, I mean, what would you call that? Like champagne? That's like a, bl a blush or, I don't know. Like mauve, Different... raisin, like yeah. a light just shimmer. I don't know. Anyway, I do not wear this during the spring and summer. This to me is strictly a fall mm -hmm. and winter shade. When you mix them all together, that looks scary. <laughs> it looks scary, but it's not. Yeah, it's, it's another one. You just kind of have to go ahead really and Really pretty, on. and I'm really glad that I got it, but it, it does bum me out that I tend, I mean, you can wear it any color any time of the year. This is mm -hmm. just in my mind. I'm like, don't wear this until fall and winter, <laughs> but it's really pretty. And I, I love, love the that. black honey from yeah, the, the lip, yep. lip gloss. Yeah, yep. that's awesome. Love it. Um, this is something that we both have. This came yep. in a birch box. It's the Balm Hot Mama, yeah. and it's a shadow slash blush. I only use this as a blush, though. Me too. But it does get a lot of love for me. Like, I really like it, and I just think it's the cutest little packaging. It's like a little miniature book. And look at the lady on the cover of it, and she's sexy. She's I mean, a hot mama. Love the packaging. Yeah. Love the blush. It is, you want to hold yours up? This is an old NARS orgasm. Do not judge me <laughs> for the nasty, nasty container that it's in because this thing is old and probably needs to be thrown away. Yeah. But to me, these are very, very similar. This looks darker in the pan. Yeah. But they're very similar. When they go on my cheeks, they're very similar. Cool. Yeah, I love this. This is something that I, when I use up the rest of the little sample product, I will definitely yeah. buy this in a full size. We're waiting for the bomb to go on Hot Look. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hear so many people that they don't know how to pronounce Hot Look. Yeah. It's, it's called Hot Look. Yeah, Hot Look. Hot Look. Because like Hot Couture. It's yeah. like Hot. Hot Couture. Not, not hot couture. <laughs> I mean, it I is just, however you want to pronounce yeah. it, I guess. But I hear people do that, and they're always like, I don't know. And I'm like, I actually know that one. <laughs> <laughs> we pronounce everything else wrong. Yeah. Trust us. Um, I have one more NARS. It's in Luster. When I, I first, remember you when you bought this one. I love When I it. first bought it, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have bought that. I'm not really going to wear that. Love it. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. What would you call that? Oh, my gosh. It's like a... It's a little bit, it has like a bronze, bronzy, a bronze shade to it. It's really pretty. She's gorgeous. 
Oh man. It's it's a peachy bronze. I Where think. did it go? Right there. You can't really see it. Anyway. <laughs> it's gorgeous and it's definitely one that I think doesn't get as much of attention as it should. Wow, there are so things many come in. options. Because there are way too many options. But this is a gorgeous one and I'm so glad to have it. NARS makes great blushes and I do want the one Sin eventually, but I haven't yeah. gotten that yet. Is that like a bright pink? I think it's more on the purple, uh, like plummy side. Okay. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> this is an oldie but goodie. This is the Too Faced Full Bloom Ultra Flush Powder Blush and Cocoa Rose. And uh, I, yeah. Again, this is one that doesn't get a lot of love for me. I kind of have let this fall to the bottom of mm -hmm. my little makeup drawer. But I love it. It's a, it's a just a flat. It's yeah. no shimmer to it whatsoever. Just a matte color. But I really, really do love it. And it's just... It, it's a dusty rose. Called, I remember when you got that because you wanted something yeah, like more mauve-y. It's mauve called, or, called Cocoa Rose. But yeah. it, it's just like a dusty rose. It's very pretty. I love it. And I have forgotten to show it some affection lately. So See, I, these videos are fun. We need to work on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is the Lorac Baked Matte Satin, Baked Matte Satin Blush in Velvet Rope. Yeah. Um, and you got that because Lisa Lisa, Lisa, Lisa D1. Lisa Lisa and her, her her ways, her wicked wicked ways. Her wicked wicked. It's, right here. it's really pretty, like pink rosy color. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Lorac makes great blushes, and you don't need a lot. Yeah, don't get heavy. Little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Laura Geller, one of our besties. <sighs> Let's this have is, a moment. I know. Love her. Still gonna meet her one day. We are. Dang. This is the Blush and Brighten and Apricot Berry. Okay. Do you have that it. that yep. one too? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, it doesn't look like I've put a dent in that, but do you guys know how much I've used this? These are gorgeous. These are like the prettiest swirl of color. They're baked on a terracotta stone. They're gorgeous. just. I I think it would take me forever to use. This I got up. this at a Birch Box. So technically, I only paid ten dollars for this, and it yeah. had other samples with it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You need a Laura Geller blush in your life. Did yeah. I get mine from Birchbox or did I buy it? That came in one of those sets. You it did have one, set. but you finished it. <gasps> did you finish it? I finished one? You had a different color in yours than I did. You know, we, we had this conversation before we started. I have a couple of other th products, but they're in a box that I don't ever open anymore. Haven't gone into it in a really long time. So I'm just not showing them. If if LG is I don't there. think if that I feel like you may have finished it girl dipped? I feel like you may have finished it and it was before we did empties videos yeah so we didn't show it but I think you went through it because I think, I think I you too. were going to it as more of like a were you using and it all, all over because her color was different from mine like yeah. this one this is just a blush yeah um, I have one more Laura Geller that also came in like one of her kits at yeah. Ulta or QVC I think mm -hmm. um, she'll do the $50 kits where you get a little bit of everything that's a good deal mm -hmm. if you guys ever want to try Laura Geller stuff this is in pink grapefruit another pretty gorgeous one. and this is more peachy tone than pink I mean you see a little pink in it but right there it's beautiful yeah and I do go to these these do get love I mean, yeah. I have to wear a different blush for the rest of my life. All right, and then I have, um, I might as well show these three together. These are my three favorites. These are, I consider these my babies. Um, these are the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes, and I have them in Exposed, which is just a really great, like, matte, more nudie blush. I like it a lot. Ditto on that one. Okay. That and then I also have it in Glisten, which is this gorgeous bright pink. Now, this is probably my most used blush. I say I reach for this one, um, I don't know, five out of seven days a week, probably. You guys probably need a tart blush yeah, in your life. It's pink. It has gorgeous shimmer in it. I love it. And then the other one that I have, and this is more of one, I do use it occasionally here and there, but I consider this more of a fall. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't, but I use it, I think I would probably use it more in the fall. This is Blushing Bride. I do love this. It's just more of like a plum mm -hmm. blush, and it has really good, gorgeous shimmer in it as well. These are just incredible. I want, honestly, 
I want every single one of them. If you guys have any of these that aren't these three colors mm -hmm. or with the ones Jamie's going to talk yeah. about, let us know which ones you have because I would personally really appreciate your recommendations for what your favorites are in these tart because yeah. I want to get more. with her yeah, skin tone. fair and freckles and ginger hair. <laughs> yeah. I have Charisma, which is more of a peachy shade with some shimmer. I love it. I used it the other day. You do not have to use a lot of this. Let me tell you, if you put down too much, you want a problem. Yeah. <laughs> because it's definitely pigmented, but it's gorgeous. And this is a great one. It came in a little two-pack, mm -hmm. um, like two for 12 at Sephora sample size, and it's doll face. And it's yeah. just a light pink. Um, no shimmer and you can tell that I have used that yeah I really do like it it is a nice little flush that's on your a popular cheeks. one a lot of people on YouTube love that one and next year if Sephora or Tar um, Ulta or whoever comes out with the little sizes like this again and those little mm -hmm. buy six for a certain price I don't even care what's in it I'm probably gonna buy it because yeah. I didn't do it last year and I kind of regretted it yeah um, one last one that is beautiful and fabulous is this Tom <laughs> Ford I think it's pretty freaking fabulous. Frantic pink because I'm going to give it to me. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous for this time of year. It's light. It gives you a nice color. It has staying power. And I'm sorry who doesn't love a little Tom Ford. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous on my skin tone. Um, I need a little Tom just, Ford in my She's beautiful. Life. And the packaging, I mean, come on. Yeah. It's got fingerprints all over it. But yeah, but still. So it's pretty. fabulous. It's fabulous. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to really pay, spend much time on these two. This is a Glow Mineral. So have you guys used that before? This is old. I've and never it's had a, that. a blush in the color Innocent, and I used to use it all the time. You can tell it's gotten a lot of love. <laughs> I'm going to try to use it again. It's just a dusty, like, peach color. And then this is one that is Bare Minerals Rouge in Avant Garden. I don't know. It might be old. Um, this was in a gift set that a friend gave to me and I actually just pulled it out last night because I thought this color was a little bit scary and it looked nice. It looked like a nice pinky flush. Yeah. So I will try that. But if you guys use the Bare Minerals Loose mm -hmm. for cheek color, let me know what you think because I, I, I'm using the eye colors yeah. but I haven't branched into the cheeks yet. Maybe just try them on the brush on the back of your hand yeah. first to see how they're intense they're yeah. going to be before you apply them. And then we have a few bronzers because we figured while we're showing you our blushes, we might as well cover our bronzers yes. too. I have only one because I have one holy grail bronzer that works for me. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I buy it again and again and again. Yes, she's gone through several. I'll go ahead and show it to Which you Which means that it's worth you guys stopping yeah. by the counter to check it out. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa and Milk Chocolate. That is the one that I get. It does indeed smell like chocolate. It's delicious. You can't smell it on your face like I've said before, <laughs> but you can definitely smell it in the pan. Yeah. Um, this color is just the perfect shade for me. Can you tell? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, and I like that it's matte. As far as bronzers go, I prefer something that's more of a, a matte bronzer, um, but everybody's different and yeah. I should probably have another bronzer honestly this is making me think I need to go get another well, one we just got one a little shimmer. we just got one but we didn't put in the video because we haven't even taken it Ooh, out of the package right. yet that's um, right the bourgeois, bourgeois from from so Maria if you saw our swap you need to check that out yeah because that's one that we're both going to try so our next time using it you'll see more yes um, next time doing this video you'll see more but we mm. haven't taken it out of the package yet not yet we're like but we're Baby going to. Yeah. So anyway, there, I just have one. This oh is the hair. only one I ever use. I keep seeing a hair right here, and it's driving me nuts. Um, when we had a Savora event a while back, a long time ago, mm -hmm. um, I knew Mindy liked the Too Faced, and the makeup artist that did my makeup that night put this on me, and this is uh, Too Faced Pink. Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer. I love the way this looks. So you it's have... So pretty. It looks like this. It's gorgeous. Now the dark chocolate right here is matte and then you have the lighter brown and the peach that have a tiny bit of shimmer so it's it's like a, a good mix of both mm -hmm. and I'm new to bronzer Mindy's been using bronzer for a while and this summer in particular I have been really trying <laughs> to just hit around my hairline and come through here and my chin I mean my jawline and here and I've enjoyed this one yeah, I have to mm -hmm. use a bronzer and with my... I don't think this one smells. I'm so pale, I have to have a little bit of color on my face because when I self-tan, I don't really always self-tan my face. 
Yeah. So bronzer is a necessity for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have yeah, this Yeah, I love that one. And then I mentioned that the little Tarte Blush and Doll Face came in a pack of, like, two in travel mm -hmm. size. And this is the Park Avenue Princess, and it's the one with the shimmer. I think they make a matte, and they make the shimmer. They do make a matte, because you know what? I have the Tarte Aquilas palette that I don't have with me right now, mm -hmm. but that has a matte one in there. It has another blush in there, too, that I don't really <laughs> need to. Uh... But this is a nice one. Yeah. I tend to go to this one over this one just yeah. because I don't know why, to be quite honest with you. But anyway, because there's nothing wrong with this color. And then this is something that I do mm -hmm. love. And, and it's it is like a three in one. The Naked Flushed Palette. And this is a nice pink blush that I use. And this is a bronzer. They don't have names. Hmm. If they do, you guys can let me know because it does, it's not on the, the back here. It. But it's just so light and pretty and it's not scary and yeah. if you guys are kind of like I mean a lot of people may not want this palette but I feel like if you're on the fence about I want a highlighter but I don't want to spend a lot of money I don't know what to get same with bronzer why yeah. not just get this little trio and have a blush highlight and bronzer especially if you're more fair skin dark skin you're not gonna want to use this bronzer it's gonna be too light yeah but um yeah this is a gorgeous I love this and mm -hmm. I need to use it more I used it a lot when I first got it and then I you know it keeps moving she, to the back. She moved on. Yeah, I'm next. glad we did this video because there's so many now that I need to go and play with. We love getting your recommendations and being yes. able to follow up by giving you what you want. Absolutely. So, so definitely leave us comments if there's anything you would like to see a collection of or yeah. our favorites of. Um, yeah, we are always looking for new ideas for Absolutely. you guys. Absolutely. So thank you for watching. Don't leave mean comments saying that I have too many blushes. I'm just kidding. I know I no, do. No, and I take it back. <laughs> she's she's actually going to run out of all of those like by the end of this year. And she's going to need more. I probably am. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a really depressing day when that happens. <laughs> all right, you guys. We will see you in our next video. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.